hey my loves it's your girl mary j welcome back to yet another video please stay tuned if you'd like to see how i got this bomb birthday look please don't forget to like comment and subscribe by the way and let's get into it As you can see, my brows are already done. What I'm doing here, I am getting my um, setting powder and I'm setting my eyelids and prepping it for my eyeshadow. The setting powder that I use is Laura Mercier's um, setting powder. I will go ahead and link everything that I used in this video down below. So please check the description bar for um, the products that I used in this video going in i'm into my jackie highness palette i'm using that dark brown shade credit and i'm um, applying that um on my crease area i wanted it nice and dark um so i went in a couple of times so therefore i can make sure that my lid is nice and defined Next, I am going to be cutting my crease with my P. Louise Rumor Base and a flat makeup brush. Now, cutting the crease is very, very tricky, guys. So, this is the trick, like I've mentioned in my other videos. Putting a little bit on your lid, looking up, so therefore you know where you're going to cut your crease. And this video might be a little sped up, but this is a very, very, very crucial technique. And you have to take your time making sure that your crease area is nice and straight. Now that I got my crease in order, I am going back into my Jackie Ines palette and I am going to use, it's that gold, really shimmery shade in there. I will go ahead and link that down below. I can't think of the name right now and I will go ahead and apply that over my crease. Um, I mean, I'm using it as a base for the glitter that I am going to be using. I am going to be using some chunky glitter for this birthday look. So I am using this gold shade as a base. So therefore, um, it could just blend seamlessly with the glitter that I'm going to be using. Since the glitter that I'm going to be using is rose gold, um, this is a nice blend. This is the glitter I am going to be using. I got this from Amazon. It came in a pack of Think 8. I will go ahead and link that down below. But before I apply my glitter, I am going to be doing my wing liner because it is extremely hard to do a wing liner while you have glitter on your eyelids. So definitely make sure you draw your wing liner on first. If you're going to be doing a wing liner look like I'm going for, make sure you draw that on first before you apply any glitter. It would make it a lot easier and a lot simpler and it will make the um, your makeup process a lot better. So I here I am just doing a nice thick wing liner.
to apply my chunky glitter i am going to be using liquid sugar um this is a glitter adhesive and i'm going to be using that to apply my chunky glitter what i'm doing is i'm applying a little bit of liquid sugar on my eyelid and i am just applying the glitter right on top very simple Because this is chunky glitter guys you want to make sure that you are positioning it um, nicely so therefore it doesn't look too chunky and it looks messy you want to make sure you move it around and you know it nice disposition on your eyelids because what you don't want is to pack a whole bunch of glitter on your eyes and just it look really heavy and just messy okay so you it is a simple simple step but you also want to make sure you take your time and you position the glitter in a neat way Now that my eyelids are done, I'm going to be doing my face makeup. I have done this several times, guys, so I'm not going to explain this in depth. I will go ahead and link down below my updated foundation routine as well as um, link, link it on the cards above for you guys. So you guys can go ahead and check that out for a more detailed explanation as to what I'm doing with my face. But I definitely wanted this look to be based on just the eye look. Um, so I'm just going to have you guys just watch what I'm doing for my face and I'll come back to you guys when I get to the eyes.
going back to my eyes i am taking a black liner and i'm lining my waterline with that and this look is almost complete guys but because i wanted to make it a little extra because it is my birthday um i went ahead and applied some rhinestones i also got these rhinestones from amazon um i applied some pink rhinestones guys please do not use this glue this is not for your eyes i don't know what i was thinking but please use your eyelash glue it works just fine and as you can see i already applied the rhinestones as you can see is right on my wing liner and on the inner um tear ducts of my eyes it's very simple but it still brought out the look um and i'm just highlighting i'm going to put on my lip and that would be it for this look i thank you guys for watching if you've gotten this far thank you for your support don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you haven't already and i just love this look i think that it i got a lot of compliments um on my birthday for this um on this look and it's simple guys don't forget don't forget to like comment and subscribe but that's not what i wanted to say <laughs> if you um want to recreate this look please tag me on my instagram i will link that down below as well and that's it i'm just gonna finish um doing the rest of my face and thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in another one